Hello everybody and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. My name is Ashley and I'm here with another match preview. This time it's Liverpool versus Sparta Prague and that is coming tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the evening. I will be live for it so I look forward to seeing you all in there. For those of you who are new here and you're not really you know, familiar with the channel, what I do is in these videos I will go through like a little bit of a match analysis how I think the game will go, like a match preview. Then I'll give you a score prediction, what I think, the, how the game will finish. And then I'll also go through a lineup. I have a predicted lineup. You can see it's just blocked out at the moment. I will reveal that later. And yeah, I'll go through and why I think certain players are in, why certain players are out. And that's how I like to do things. And then, of course, I will do a live stream for this game. And that will be tomorrow. I will start that up about quarter to eight tomorrow evening. So before I do all of that, if you haven't already and you're enjoying the content, please hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button. That really helps me out. It helps me grow a bit of a community. And the, the bigger the community, the more engaging and more entertaining my live streams will be um, when they come around. So please consider doing that. And let's get into it. So the match analysis, the preview part of the video um, is just how I think the game's going to go. And I think it's just going to be a Liverpool win. I don't think it's going to be a particularly easy win um, because you'll see in my lineup, I think there's going to be big changes. But I think it'll be enough to get over the line against Sparta Prague with 5-1 up. I don't see Liverpool shipping five goals at home. This game is at Anfield. So, yeah, I don't see us conceding five goals. That's... The main thing but i see there being big big changes but still not enough to like completely jeopardize the this match or jeopardize the tie in as a whole i think it'll it'll be enough and i still think that we could quite possibly get a win with the team um if not it will require some substitutions but you'll see because I, I have got a lot of changes in there a lot of youth just to replenish the senior players ahead of that big game against Manchester United at the weekend in the FA Cup. So that's how I think. After what I seen against Sparta last week as well, I mean, we were lucky they didn't score a goal. I mean, we, well, we scored their goal, didn't we? What a cracker from Connor Bradley. But um, I, they had chances. They really did have chances. I'm surprised they didn't score. Um, I just, I really, I really cannot believe it. Like, we were, we, they did open us up. So, that makes me think that they can do it again. And again, this is a European competition. Everybody loves to be in these European clubs. I know it's not the Champions League, it's the Europa League, but it's the same with the Europa Conference League. The teams who are in them like playing in them and they want to win it. They're not there just for the sake of being there. They want to go on and win it. And it's always a Mickey Mouse Cup until you're the, your team is in it. It's just, just like with the Carabao Cup, you know? It's just the way it is. But these European Cups... People want to win him. So I'm not predicting Sparta to just go and lie down and be like, we we need five goals. That's too many. They won't do that. They will go to Anfield and they will try to put on a show and they will try to score them five goals. So I don't think they'll lay down by any stretch of the imagination. I just think Liverpool will just manage the game well and just see it out. And I, I can see us winning it, not by a lot, but I think it being a tight game, but a Liverpool win. So with that said, my score prediction. So this is my score prediction. 2-1. Pretty simple. Pretty tight. Um, I think my lineup will show you why. If this is what the manager goes with, then that's why it will be tight. Um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say about the, the, the score prediction. 2-1, um, I wouldn't mind seeing I wouldn't mind seeing Salah get on the score sheet, to be honest with you, but I don't see that happen. He needs a bit of time. Um, needs a bit of game game time in his legs because he did look very sluggish against City. Diaz and Gakpo need to seriously cop on because that was abysmal from the pair of them. Diaz done that one run, which everybody was raving about, but doesn't really make up for the chances that he missed in that second half. And Gakpo, well, Gakpo's been a ghost for about three months now. So, with that said, let's get into my lineup prediction. So, the lineup I have chosen is as follows. As you can see, 
a lot of changes, um, but not too much in the back five. Um, I think the back five is, I mean, you can't really, I, I don't, we need to rotate. We can't be putting Van Dyke, Canate out there. I actually don't even know if Canate is available for this game, but I just assume he won't be. If he does come back, I would hope that would be for the United match. So you can't really be putting in your best. You know, they need a break. They've played a lot of football. So, But what we have as backup in Kwanzaa and Gomez is absolutely perfect. So the lineup, Kelleher in goal, of course. He is absolutely amazing. He had another great performance against City. He nearly saved the John Stones goal, which is absolutely incredible considering how close John Stones was to the goal and how quick that, like how fast the pace on that shot, which I thought was quite impressive. Um, got very unlucky how it's sort of like gone in between his arm and his leg. So again, another impressive performance. Then left back, I've gone with Simicas. Of course, he's actually, I actually don't mind Simicas. I, uh, last season, I, I didn't like him because I just felt he was a weak link. But this season, he seems to have um, picked up his game. And I'm actually quite happy that we have him to replace Robertson when we need to in games much like this one. So Simicas. Right back is going to be Connor Bradley. Again, he's played a lot of football, but there is just nobody who can go in there and do the right back role other than Gomez. But um, Bradley was substituted against City, so that's why I believe he'll be starting this. Klopp is managing the game time that certain players are playing, I have noticed. So I assume that means he's trying to keep them rested enough so that they can carry on playing like 60 minutes every game or so. So that's what I think is happening with Bradley. So I'm pretty sure he'll be in there. Then, of course, the centre-back pairing, Joe Gomez, Jarrell Kwanzaa. That should get the job done. Um, Joe Gomez has been incredible, and it would be nice for him to actually play in his his preferred position um, alongside Jarrell Kwanzaa, who, again, for a young lad, is pretty tasty on the ball. So then into midfield, I've gone with McConnell, Clark, and Soboslai. Now... The reason I put Soboslai in there, I was thinking, oh, yeah, go on, just the front six, just, you know, just make it all youngsters or youth players. And I, I just couldn't do it. I just don't think it'll happen. I mean, I think if you do that, then you're asking for trouble. Um, So I think there will be one senior player in the midfield, and I think there will be one senior player in the top three. So I've gone with Soboslai because he had a – pretty poor game against City again he needs to he needs game time he needs to get back up to where he was this will be a perfect game for him to do that it proved to be a perfect game last week when he came on against Sparta so I think he'll be there and also you want to rest the likes of Endo and McAllister so that's why I think so boss lie in Endo McAllister out along and put him in alongside McConnell and Clark Again, McConnell looked pretty good any time he's played. Clark as well has actually played... I think he's played the most minutes out of the youngsters other than Bradley. So, you know, he's obviously he's obviously got something about him. And then up top, again, like I said, I wanted a senior player in the top three. I, I just don't think it would be fair to have three because I think that that's, that's when we will start to get dominated by Sparta. So I've gone with Gakpo up top on the right-hand side. I've gone with Nayani on the left and then Dan's through the middle. Um, I went with Nayani. It could very well be Kumas. Um, it could very well be Diaz. I just don't, I, I see there being a lot of rotation here because this game is pretty much done. Um, we just need to not concede five goals. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it could very well be Kumas, but I've gone with Nayani just, just for the sake of it. Um, I also put Dan's in there because I'm happy to see Dan's play. He actually looks like he has something about him. I actually would have preferred him to come on instead of Gakpo against City. I thought he would have actually made a bit of a difference. You know, he's got no he's got no fear or anything. He can just be sent out, go on, just do what you do and try and get us a goal. Try and win this game for us. And he, he could have potentially gone and done that, but Gakpo went out there and, well, wasted chances. So... That is my lineup. So in full, that is Kelleher, Simicas, Kwanzaa, Gomez, and Bradley. 
Then in the middle three, I've got Clark, McConnell, and Soberslay. And then in the front three, I've got Nayani, Dans, and Gakpo. So, guys, let me know how I did. If you think that's good, if you think that's bad, what you would change, score predictions, get in the chats, get in the comments, whatever platform you're watching on, let me know. And, um, yeah, get a start a bit of a dialogue, and we can have a chat about it. Yeah, if you have any predictions for the game, like who you think will score, how it will finish, will Sparta get back into it? Will they, you know, will they score three goals and make us start biting our nails? Or do you think Liverpool will just comfortably see them off? Or will it finish nil-nil, for instance? Or, you know, let me know what you think. Get in the comments. And um, yes, thanks everybody for tuning in. I will be live for that game like I said, that's tomorrow evening at quarter to... I'll be live at quarter to eight. Kickoff is at eight o'clock. So I look forward to seeing you all there. And if you haven't already, leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel, please. Welcome to the Slack and Armchair supporters. And until I see you in the live stream, up the fucking Reds.